friends and family to the following decoration of my front porch. Please excuse my hands are a little bit dirty. I've been uh, digging through bins and dragging out things. I'm hoping we can get through this without there being too much traffic noise. If there happens to be too much traffic noise, I'll end up muting and just voice overing. So it's kind of a mess out here. I've got everything just kind of piled up because that's always a good place to start. I have a vision. Um, the last couple years I've done witches. Oh, and y'all must see my shirt because it's thematic for today. It says bougie. <laughs> You know, she's got her Stanley cup, her little crossbody bag, and her high top pink chucks. I saw this on Amazon and I had to have it because girl don't have any Halloween t-shirts, <laughs> maybe a few thousand. So the first thing I like to do is just give the porch a really good sweep. Y'all know how to sweep a porch. And then you'll see me decorate and undecorate. Y'all, I've had the ghosts in my entryway for couple days uh no since yesterday so this is only day two i love them <laughs> i'm like i don't know if i want to put my ghost outside because they're just so cute sorry y'all and it just makes the entryway look so nice and full so i'm debating <laughs> pardon me i'm debating back and forth do i want to go more witchy or do I want to stick with my original idea of being bougie with ghosts I think I'm going to stick with my original idea it does look really cute but I also don't want to store for ghosts because sorry y'all like a whole bunch of new cars just went by orange barrel season here in Ohio and living on a state route is a cut through it's not a shortcut through but it is a cut through to between two major highways now I need to wash my hands don't I so let me get busy here I'm gonna get everything swept up and then yeah we'll get started decorating so I hope you'll stay tuned so I have to ask the question is anyone else amazed at the amount of dirt that gets on a covered porch? I, I'm just shocked at the number of cobwebs and blown up little pieces of leaf and lots of spiders, many, many spiders. I'm not afraid of spiders, thankfully, but also lots of uh, spider webs, I started to say fly webs. So I've done that two thirds of the porch. I need to move out the rocking chair, move this furniture around a little bit, sweep the other half, and then we will have a clean palette to work on and we can decide what exactly it is that we're gonna be doing for the front porch. I'd like to have it, um, you know, decorated from end to end, not just right in the middle or on this end where I tend to sit. So it might take a little bit of digging in the bins. Oh my gosh, y'all. Garage doesn't look any better, <laughs> but it will after today. I'm determined. All right, stay tuned. So my first focal point, and this is kind of fallish, so it can be left up through Thanksgiving, is just a throw that I only use outside and a happy fall cat pillow. <sighs> we need road closed, right? <laughs> to through traffic. Um, I have these two little pumpkins that I think look very vintage, and I think what I'm going to do with them is just hang them here like little pumpkin ornaments. So it kind of brings in a touch of that Halloween look. Oh. last year. It's a Hocus Pocus Apothecary sign. Um, I'm going to put it over the blessed sign. And then we need a couple pumpkins, so let me go dig in the bins. I had these 
two decorative pumpkins for many, many years. Mm. You know, it's never this busy. <laughs> Except when I try to film. And I do like to kind of wipe off the pottery because it does set out year round. At least it'll look a little bit fresher type thing. Ugh, so much dirt and debris and it's hard to get it all at once without taking everything off the porch. So I'm starting to have a wee bit of a panic thinking, oh my word, I only have two weeks to, I'm not worried about the soap class. I can do that in my sleep. I've already checked my ingredients, etc. So there'll be some prep for a couple of days, just getting everything set up, but it's not hard. It's the house that I want to look nice. Oh goodness, wow, that's a lot of cobwebs. Alright, so my little kitty still comes and sleeps on the porch. I still see him on the porch. Her, her. Um, the chickens, ever since the box attack, will just have a fit if it tries to come and sleep with them, which it always slept like right beside the coop. She, it's not an it. <clears throat> you know, let me show you something funny. I bet you Uncle Steve and I cut out a dozen walnut trees because the squirrels will bury the walnuts which are at the neighbors but i want to show you this see if you can spot spot it do you spot what i use it's like well this looks like a good place to put it Ugh. i love the creatures and varmints but they do wreck havoc on things so i think this is a good start over in this area. I think what we'll do next is we will hang our really cute boo tree topper. Oh, please work. Oh, I might have to create a hook of sorts. Well, how does that not have a hook? Okay. We're just gonna flip it. I thought there was a hook. Ooh, that doesn't look like it's gonna stay. All right, guys, hold on, I gotta get a hook. I ended up just zip tying this. I'm on the struggle bus trying to get this hooked in well enough. So what I'm doing here is just putting some fall garland around the tree like this. I have quite a few strands. One thing about a grapevine tree is it really grabs. So you don't have to worry about it ending up in the next county. <laughs> and this will be able to stay on like through Thanksgiving. this particular garland on the tree, but I like it. And the uh, boo. <gasps> kind of ties in the ghost theme here. I also have this very tangled up garland. Let me tell you a little bit about the traffic. <laughs> the traffic has been a huge bone of contention for all of us who live right here uh, at the edge of town. So the speed limit is 25 through town, goes up to 35 right before my house, and it goes up to 55 about 
maybe the equivalent of two blocks up because it's back to two lane country road. The trucks come through here so fast. I worry that somebody's gonna get killed, like a kid, or we have a lot of university students that like to jog. It really concerns me. And I wish you would do something about it, Village of Cedarville. So this is just plain leaves. I'm gonna stick it over here because it's where I'm gonna use it. I still have the black and white in the burlap, but I have to tell you, I think this has enough stuff on it. I do have lights, but honestly, I used them last year, like plug them in. Oh, let's just have an emergency with sirens. <laughs> I am so sorry, y'all. Maybe I should just mute myself and voice over. Yeah, hold on, y'all. Yeah, I'll just ignore the sirens in the background. So we do have a new little flag to hang up. Um, I have a couple of them for fall or Halloween. I like to change them up. Um, I'd kind of like to put one in the garden, but I know that it wouldn't last very long. So this actually all came from Timu. And I know not everyone likes Timu, but they have some good prices on seasonal decor. All right, so this is my little Halloween flag. Let me go ahead and put that up. All right, uh, so decision time. I know it's only September, I recognize that. If I wasn't having um, a soap event here hosting, um, I probably would put up harvest banners versus my October banners. If they're so stinking cute, I'm gonna do my October banners. So I also think I need to wash the front. <laughs> door. Frankie puts his nose on it so there's little Frankie prints all across. Where are all these people going? Y'all need to retire. Retire, I say. So, I, I actually live fairly close to a gravel pit, a couple miles away. So we do get trucks carrying gravel and stuff that comes out of there uh, on the regular, that's for sure. Here comes one. Sorry guys, <laughs> dozed off there for a minute. All right, let me get this door shined up a little bit, inside and out because it's dirty, and we'll hang up our flags. I'm gonna try speeding myself up. We'll see if that works. Stay tuned. So this is one of my favorite keepsake purchases, not purchases, um, acquisitions. <laughs> you know, y'all, when you start losing parents, significant people in your family, even sometimes grandparents, one of the things that I found is it's, it's hard to know what to keep and what you can divest yourself of or you know, share with someone else type of thing. This happened to be my father's. My dad was not a person with a lot of, oh gosh, y'all, a lot of possessions. Um, he had his banjos and his guitar, and a guitar. It's not the Deep South mom. <laughs> um, those were very precious to him. He loved music, so he had uh, gospel, country, no rock. Um, and they built on a sun porch on the back of their house and they got a set of Victorian, not my taste y'all, not meaning to insult anyone. Um, I'm gonna leave thankful up because it kind of fits for the um, season of Thanksgiving. 
<laughs> anyway, um, my dad was a very cold-blooded man. I did not get that from him. I don't know if part of it was his health. You know, my dad had metastatic prostate cancer, and he was always cold. And he loved to go lay in that sunroom. I don't care if it's 105 degrees. And one of the things that was in there was this. And I didn't have interest in the actual furniture. So we auctioned that for money for my mom's care, which I think was a smart move. There's why nobody wanted it. And it didn't go for great money either, but you know, at least somebody got enjoyment out of it. And it wasn't in the best of shape either, in my right eye. But at any rate, um, I kept this because I can envision my dad <laughs> laying in the sunroom and he had a very green thumb and he liked to grow fern and he had big ferns in here. So, you know, I have a lot of good memories attached. I know it's outdoors, but it's been outdoors for a few years without any real detriment. So, let's see. Pray for me, y'all. hurt on your knees. There are days that I want to stand out at the end of my driveway with a hair dryer like I'm running right here. <laughs> I don't think they believe me. Ooh, get my bougie shirt dirty. So, you know what I can say is um, you'll always have the memories in your heart and in your head. Even if you know you can't or don't want to keep everything or there's a lot of family to share items with. Um, my cousin, wow, that is filthy. I think it's so dirty. Was very interested in my grandparents' dining room furniture and side touch, which we auctioned. We, we needed the money for mom's care, right? <sighs> Y'all, it was not my taste. And it's, I have plenty of memories, I have plenty of pictures. I didn't need the furniture. They were in need of furniture. I'm not criticizing them for making that choice. Um, but at any rate, everybody has different ideas. You know, I wish I knew a little more about this. I know it's old and it has a horseshoe on the bottom. So if anybody has any ideas, let me know. Just to kind of get the worst of the dirt off of these. And this one has roses. Um, this may not be as old. Well, it says, let me tell you something, my daddy never threw anything away. When I was cleaning out the house, hopefully y'all will find this amusing, because I thought it was funny. And I had a lot of trash to haul. I went in the barn to get the wheelbarrow. <laughs> One of the handles had broken off the wheelbarrow, like, I don't know, maybe 20 years ago. And my dad had taken like a broomstick and like welded it on. I, I had to laugh a little bit because it was so, so, so my dad. Um, I don't know that, oh, we'll put these down here. These aren't gonna show as much as I'd like. Can y'all see? I just put some El Cheapo, you know, you buy them in the big packs. I mean, things went dirty or anything. <laughs> y'all don't judge. All right, I need to kind of come up with what I'm going to do. <sighs> Y'all, I'm thinking about going back to the um, the witch theme. I don't know. Stay tuned. We'll find out together. Right, huh? So one of the next things I want to do is I want to decorate the urns. Now you can see, of course, because I'm ready to decorate these little annual Gerber type daisies have bloomed. And I'm not going to waste those. I am going to take those in, put them in a little vase, and we will have some continued enjoyment out of these. But I am going to cut all the way down. And a lot of those um, orange flowers went to seed, so maybe I'll get some volunteers next year. I'm going to cut this down to the dirt level. I usually put a handful of straw because I have it, it just to protect whatever goes in. I'm so sorry, y'all. It's just so loud and out here. 
I wish I could hear you all. So let me cut these down, get those disposed of, because then I have to make a decision. Am I going witchy or am I going ghosty or am I going somewhere in between? Stay tuned to find out. All right, y'all, big reveal time. So we have our little rocker here with a pumpkin we made a couple years ago, our happy cat pillow and the Kiki's blanket. <laughs> Some old pumpkins, a hocus pocus sign. We decorated up our tree, put our little boo on there. I did top it with a witch's hat. The banners say it's October witches, trick or treat. Have a wreath that we made a couple years ago, a little welcome mat, some pumpkin stacks, of course, our scary legs and our Halloween little flag over here. Just some pumpkins and some leaves, a little inexpensive Dollar Tree sign. And then this is fun. These actually light up. They're kind of hard to see in the daylight. I don't even know if you can see them. Not really. Nope, not really. And then a couple Halloween pillows. So I think all in all, it's looking quite Halloween up in here. Hope you've all enjoyed today's fun decorating video of the front porch and making it bougie. Mm, that joke doesn't get old, does it? I plan to see you on Saturday. Y'all, don't fall over. It's Monday when I'm filming this. I know, right? Who am I? <laughs> I just don't know what this week is going to bring. And I know I have to get busy on the decor and oh Lord, on the garage. <laughs> So say a prayer for me about the garage, just saying. I've just opened all the bins and I pulled all the stuff out because I needed one thing and guess where it was? In the last bin on the bottom. <laughs> Welcome to my world. I hope you all are enjoying this early change of season. It is right now 48 degrees. I was fine outside. Um, I am the warm blooded person but it's definitely cooler at night. Now that's not gonna hold for us all week. We're gonna be 90 for a couple days this week, I, I swear. But I can feel the change of seasons coming. I can see it, I can see the signs, you know, as the leaves are starting to change, the early leaves, etc. And it's my most favorite time of the year. So if I wanna decorate early, this will give you some ideas. And y'all, just like I said, it doesn't have to be Halloween. You could use anything for a theme. You could use scarecrows, you could use sunflowers, you could use pumpkins, you could just use leaves. Um, you could use harvest as a theme. There are so many options. It does not have to relate to Halloween. I very much enjoy it. I know not everyone does. So I plan to see you on Saturday. Do me a big favor. Go ahead and smash that like button. Drop me a comment below. Do the ghosts really belong on the front porch or are they as cute in the entryway as I think? I'd love to hear your thoughts because I can change it that quick. All right, guys, until I see you again, be healthy, be well, be blessed, and take care.